Now uh, the next speaker is K K Rajesh. That's good. <laughs> Please. Thank you, sir. As a government-owned entity, Indian Railway is till date able to ensure affordable transport to the millions of the common man in our country. But sir, nowadays reports, many reports reveal the fact that the government is slowly privatizing the Indian Railway in various means. Sir, a re recent report shows that some of the heritage trails which has got a destination at uh, hilly stations, those trains are going to be privatized. And also the adjacent lines and the railway stations are also going to be privatized. Sir, while doing so, the government is undou undoubtedly abdicating its responsibility that for ensuring affordable transfer, transport to the common people of our country, which should be objected. Sir, till two years back, total capital expenditure of the Indian Railway was borne by the central government. But recently, for the last two years, government is, center is planning, putting forward this SPV route. Through the SPV, the onus is being shifted to the states. And what is the position of the states, sir? For various states, it is very difficult to spend due to financial constraint, more investment in railways. It is very difficult. And last budget, in the last budget itself, government had declared lot money SPV projects. A few hundreds of SPV projects were declared in the last budget. I want to know whether, from the government, whether how many of those SPV projects are being materialized? How many of them are being practicalized? So far as I know, in my state, sir, there was a proposal for Tanur Guruvayur SPV proposal, Matanur Kannur SPV proposal was there, and Kannur Arikot SPV proposal was there. All those proposals, which are declared in the last budget, are still remain in papers. Nothing is materialized. Sir, what is the meaning of this declaration? In the newspapers, it used to come that such, a, such a development is going to be taken place. But unfortunately, nothing is getting materialized. Sir, I take this opportunity to draw the attention of the Honorable Minister through you, sir, so far as certain railway requirement of my state, Kerala, is concerned. Sir, I am very sorry to say that the government is still continuing with its stepmotherly attitude towards the state of Kerala. Sir, after the new government has come into power, not, single, not a single train is being provided for the state of Kerala. In the last, last budget, two trains were declared. But it is not materialized. All these trains are in papers, not in practice. In the last budget also, no new tra train is declared. And we, we, we have got an experience in, our, in, in Kerala, sir, that if any new train is declared, and if it is materialized, that, that train, new train, is used to run with old bogies. Old bogies of old trains. Why it happens, sir? So, Government's stepmotherly attitude needs to be changed. I am I'm demanding for that. And in various stations, income increases. Passengers, fare income and other income in various railway stations are getting increased. We have got lot many stations that has generated 60, more than 60 crores of rupees per year. Trivandrum, Ernagulam, 
Palakkad, Kalikad, Kannur, all those stations are generating more than 60 uh, crores of rupees per year. We have got uh, A-class category also, but no development considering the income that is being generated in those, in those uh, stations. No further development is being taken place, which needs to be noted. And sir, we don't have a single train with first-class facility for the state from Trivandran to Mangalore. There is not a single train with that facility. Please conclude and now. There Please is a, conclude. Sir, two minutes, sir, two minutes. There is a proposal yes. for, for making uh, Radhani train as a daily train, which is also yet to be accomplished. It is not materialized. He, and he demanding is, for he is that here. also. Sir, again. The minister was here. He might have gone for something to something outside. There is Minister of State, he is noting down your points. Cap Cabinet Minister is out, he, he is here, he will become... Uh, Jairam, Ji, Jairam Ji, Jairam Ji ki nazar jo hai, wo always on the Cabinet, cabinet post. But he is coming, he is coming. Jairam Ji is coming. Your party sir, colleague is... Sir, how can I, sir? How can I, sir? I, I understand that. The Parliamentary Affairs Minister has told me that he is outside, he will be coming. I have to adjourn the house till the Cabinet Minister comes. No. House cannot be adjourned because there is no cabinet minister. This is not the, there is no president like that. Sir, you adjourn please, the please. house. Mrs. Rages, have you finished? Sir, how can I speak, sir? Oh, sir, would you, would you like to speak or I there, call the next speaker? There is speaker? no cabinet minister and, and the, house, the house is not in order. Then how can I speak, sir? How I am I listening speak? to you. You sir, can I speak. Am, I am if you do not speak, sir, I, I have to I call, call the next speaker. Sir. sir, I am seeking your protection. How can I speak? Sir, I am seeking your protection. Cabinet minister is not there. You want to speak? Sir, sir, house is not in order, sir. Sir. Sir, please let the house be in order, sir. Sir. You finish in one minute, I am calling the next speaker. Sir, sir, sir. No, man. <laughs> sir, house is not in order, sir. So, sir, sir. Sir, there is a long pending demand for a new line from Kanno to Tarisheri uh, to Mysore, which is a, a, a decade long, many decade long uh, uh, demand which is lying before the government and I am demanding all these decrees are falling, should not fall in the deaf ears. So I am demanding the government immediately intervene and ensure that particular line. And sir, Kerala has declared as an ODF state. Unfortunately, Indian Railway is, has got the longest, lengthiest toilet in our, in our country, which has to be changed. And yes, of course, the proposal for... Your time is up. Your time is up. I am calling the next speaker. Well and good, but that I don't know whether the please conclude, please conclude. Practical, practicably, practicability of the, those bio t t toilet is uh, that needs to be ensured because uh, we have got lot many experiences. And uh, uh, the next speaker is Mr. Elam Goban. Please.